Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift haul. Um, it's a lot of anthropology. There's a few other things as well, but I got a good bit of anthropology today, which was shocking to me. So if you would like to see what I got, stay tuned. Okay, so I went to four different thrift stores today. I spent, sorry, there's dust flying all over the place. Um, I spent 30, 24, 18, and 5 at each store. Alright, so I got a few things. And some of the things that I got had, like this dress that I have right here, it has a couple stains on it, which <clears throat> I'm going to say, if you go to the store and you find an item such as this dress. Now this is an anthropology. This is the Diletta. It's um, one of their nice brands. It's this cute dress, right? This dress probably retailed for, I mean, I'm just going to say at least $120. So, you know, with the condition, the material, everything is in perfect condition. But, there's a couple stains on it. Now, if you go to a store and you see a few stains on something, and it might cost you, I think this costed a dollar. So, if you go and you find something that costs a dollar and there's a stain on it, don't just leave it. Take a chance because I'll say 95% of the things that I do buy that do have stains on them, the stains do come out. You just have to treat them. Um, even stuff that you shouldn't, like silk, I have I've treated that. Um, last night, and I'll show you the shirt that I used last night, I had a stain on this one. In fact, I don't even think it was a stain, it just hadn't been washed. Um, but I was like, I'm not going to the dry cleaner. I just spent $21 at the dry cleaners taking some stuff that I was sending to Thread Up Lux. Not again. <laughs> so anyway, don't just leave stuff because you might see a stain. Now, I have a Maeve shirt at downstairs right now that has this bright yellow stain. Like, it looks like maybe mustard. If you see yellow like that, unless you know some kind of trick, don't even bother with it because it, it's not budging. I don't know. All I can think is it's mustard. It looks like mustard. So, Okay, so anyway, so this is the Diletta dress that I got. This one is a size small. It's real cute. It's got the floral print. Um, it's kind of a, a stretchy floral strapless. Um, up here is kind of a cotton feel like a Oh, I don't even know what you want to call it. Anyway, it's just a pretty little dress. So I have to stain treat this. In fact, I'll work on that tonight. So this is the one that I stain treated last night. I actually got three of these items last week. Um, and they've been sitting in a bag in my room since then. So this is a Leafs Doter. It's also anthropology. And this is a silk shirt, 100% silk. Um, whenever I got it, and I was taking the pictures last night after I'd steamed it, I realized that there was like a little dark circle right there. And I went downstairs, got my shout, sprayed it, let it sit for five minutes, washed it in hot water <laughs> like I was not supposed to. And it's fine. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I just need to um, steam it again because it's wrinkly. So, but this is the shirt. It's just a pretty um, peach colored shirt. I like the cuffing on it. It's got like the studs. It's really cute. And you'll have to excuse if you hear somebody talking. My boyfriend's on the phone downstairs and it's loud. I went to yell at him, realized he was on the phone with his boss. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll just have to try to drown that noise out with some music. All right, so this next thing is called, it's Damsel, which is another, I believe it's Anthropology. It could be Urban. Um, they do have the same RN number, 66170. Um, but it's like got a fuzzy feel to it. Really cute, just a simple little long sleeve tee. This is an extra large. It's a one sleeve. This is Lily Pulitzer. I always grab Lily Pulitzer. I didn't see any staining. Um, I believe it may have had a belt because it has the belt loops, but this one does not have the belt with it. It's cute. So I grabbed it up. I always grab Lily. All right. 
This next one is Cartonier, I think. I don't know. But this is an anthropology. It's these cute, um, stretchy slacks. It's kind of like a linen blend. This is a moth, which is anthropology. It's a cute sweater. It's kind of a cropped type sweater. It's got the quarter sleeves on it. It's really soft, like really, really soft. <clears throat> this is We the Free, which is Free People. And I actually looked this up. This is still being sold at Free People right now. Um, I think it retails for 48 and it's on sale right now for 29 This one's in excellent condition. Like it doesn't even look like it was worn to be honest and this color everybody's loving this color right now so i put it for 20 in my closet um i got this with the other one that i got the other day all right this is an older free people this one's um pretty old 12 years old i believe 2006 um, but it's this cute little top. It's got these lace sleeve. Like, it's so cute. Um, let's see if I can show you some more of the embroidery. The back of it is real embroidered. And the front of it's got this lace lining. It's real pretty. And I, it's a tie back as well. Alright, so this is one that I wasn't sure if it was anthropology. I looked at the style, I was like, oh, that's got to be anthropology because it's so cute. Look at the, the, the yarn, like the yarn's fringed. So this brand is called Amity or Amati, and it is indeed anthropology. It's adorable. Um, it's gray. It's got these kind of flared looking sleeves. Um, it's in great condition. It's real soft. I mean, it's light new condition. Um, and this was the last item that I got last week. This one is a Knitted and Knotted by Anthropology. Um, you'll always know that this is them. They have like a metal label. Um, I took this to the dry cleaners last week because I noticed there was a hole on the seam and I wanted to get it repaired. And I know it's kind of pathetic that I can't even sew a friggin' seam, but I don't even have like anything to sew with here so I'm like I just took it there they charged me $21 to get this repaired a pair of Etro pants that I have that I actually sold for $70 today on Boshmark and I had to get them hemmed <clears throat> I had to get them hemmed and I had a St. John shirt that had some yellowing along the white detail and they actually ruined my shirt so that was nice um, all right, so this is just a cardigan. It's cute. It does have one more hole that I found in a seam, which is underneath the arm over here somewhere. You really can't tell. I mean, it kind of blends in, but anyway, it's right here. If you can see it, it's not bad at all. But anyway, doop, that is that. And if I, while I'm editing this, if I can find the actual stock photos of these things I'll put them like in the corner somewhere just to kind of give you a better visual because I know me holding these up doesn't really do them any justice at all all right this is a J Crew skirt of course I always pick up the corduroy skirts it does take a while for them to go but I still pick them up um, Harley Davidson now I do pick up Harley Davidson if it's something that has a uh, town on it like sometimes I guess each location they have shirts for that location and there's collectors out there and you'll have to excuse if you see all this dust it is dusty because these clothes were dusty but anyway this is a Harley Davidson shirt it's got like this print on it if you can see the print it's really cute it's just a little button-up women's button-up I got another Lula Row dress, um, but it was really, I like the pattern on it. It was really pretty. It's a nice print and it's real soft. It's like in perfect condition. So for $2, you can't beat that. 
And I got this to send to Thread Up Lux. This is a Cynthia Rowley. Um, it's a blazer. I was looking at um, estimated payouts on Thread Up, and it was like $30, something, something like that. And I was like, hmm, for Cynthia Rowley? Like, I have stuff like that in my closet. Nobody wants it, so I'll send it all to Thread Up. Um, it's just this blazer. If you see the coloring, then you turn to the back, and it's a completely different coloring. At first I thought it was faded, and then I realized it's just how it's styled, so I'll put that in that box. Alright, this is Cloth and Stone, which is Anthropology. It is just a white long sleeve button down shirt. I need to wash it. It has like a little stain of some sort that I was able to see at the store. I don't see it now. But anyway, it needs to be washed, so. This is Sundance. Now, I heard about this brand off of um, Instagram. I watch a lot of Insta stories of a lot of poshers and a lot of them share brands that we should be picking up and this was one of them. It's just a long skirt. It's basically new because it still has not been disconnected. You know, the split, it's still connected. So. I picked up a pair of Levi's. These are mid-rise skinnies. Um, I, go, I like these because they have like the little distress right there, but they also have the um, rolled up leg, which is good for those people who like to wear the little half boots. And I got these Madewell jeans. These are in excellent condition. Like I, couldn't understand why somebody would get rid of them besides maybe they got pregnant and they just couldn't fit into them anymore I don't know but these are 2532s these are called rail straight um, but they are very very excellent condition I mean no wear whatsoever to them like I don't even know if they if they've been I really don't know if they've been worn but yeah really cute my battery is about to die apparently, so I'm trying to hurry. Um, I got this Theory dress shirt, just a basic dress shirt. Theory is a nice, expensive brand. Um, I found these Steve Madden ankle boots. They were in excellent condition. I paid seven for them, um, so uh, you know the inside is a little ratty but these are the Trishas they're size six not a good size to get I know but it'll it'll sell I hope and then I got these cute little peep toe ankle booty something I don't know what you want to call them but they're Adriana New York this is a Diletta which is anthropology and it has these like the kimono sleeves. Really pretty. Um, just a basic uh, blouse. I really like this one. This one is Edme and Esli. This is Anthropology. It's got kind of like a wet. All right, so my battery died. I had to fix that. Anyway, what I was showing was this, if this is a Edme and Esleet anthropology piece. It's plaid, really cute. It's like a peplum top, button up. This is an older Diane von Furstenberg. It's a polyester shirt, but it, it's really satiny feeling. Um, it's got like that wrinkle, I think it's called Tafita, Tafeta. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's got that crinkly, crinkly feel to it. This is Sleeping on Snow. I believe it's Anthropology. I mean, it's got 66170, but it could be Urban. But I'm pretty sure it's Anthropology. But it's this wool blend. It's, um, I forget what these are called. I'll have to go into my closet and look at the other one that I have. I have a brown one by somebody else. All right. This is a soft surrounding. It's a sweater. Really soft feeling. Um, it does have what looks like foundation makeup foundation on the bottom which I have to clean um, it's a hand wash only 
This is another soft surroundings. It's just a blouse. It's really soft. <laughs> and the material, is, it feels so good. This is a Vince. It's, I don't know, I want to say it's a dress. But it's got these sleeves like that. And it's, I think it is a dress. But I found it in the blouse section of the store. So, I don't know. Vince does pretty well. I got these Brighton. I've heard about Brighton. I don't know. But they're just these loafers. So, I just picked them up. Um... These are Hi Hi or He He or He He by Anthropology. I don't know how to pronounce it. But these are also just another pair of slacks. They are wide leg. If you look, I love the, the pattern and the material. It's real pretty. Um, but yeah, these were really cute. I didn't see anything wrong with them. Um, I'm sure there, there's probably like a little stain. I thought I saw something earlier, but it might have just been my eyes playing tricks on me. Anyway, yeah, that's another pair of anthropology. <laughs> I picked up this cute Lily Pulitzer dress. Lily. And it's just this pretty... It's not strapless. It's got these itty-bitty straps. This little sundress. <clears throat> this is an Angel of the North, which is anthropology. And it's just a little cardigan. Um, what is this material? It's wool, 30% wool. So it's real soft and pretty. It's got this lining, um, like a sheer lining on the bottom. But yeah, that is that. Uh, this is another moth sweater. Um, it's got like the lining underneath it, just a basic sweater, and another moth sweater. This one has the shirt type thing underneath it as well. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with these, so I think I got kind of lucky with them. And this was an older anthropology piece. Um, it was just like a white cardigan. It does have a little stain right here which I have got to stain treat and hopefully I can get it out. I got two more things. This right here is vineyard vines, vineyard vines, whatever you want to call it. It's just a corduroy skirt, mini skirt. It's got like a little well on the back. And last but not least we have a Diletta. Um, it's a cardigan, like a purple cardigan real pretty. The back has got that ruched. The back is real pretty. But yeah, so that was it. Um, my battery is not wanting to stay alive for whatever reason. I've had this thing on the charge. Anyway, so that was the haul for today. I'm going to start listing things after I get things washed up and steamed and all that great stuff. I have some things already in my room. I actually moved my soft boxes and everything up to my bedroom because my bedroom is so big I have so much room in there so I was like I'm gonna do my photos in there and then I'm gonna just do inventory downstairs and shipping and that's what I've decided to do and I think that's it so I hope you all have a great night and bye